I'm speaking to you from Boston, United States of America. I'm the founder of the African Institution of Technology. Let me begin by saying that more than 500 years ago, the growth world product was flat. In other words, generations of people that lived apart did not experience any major change in their living standards. Yes, there were empires and kingdoms, but man was generally poor. But as technology began to be created, and intellectual property rights were being developed around these technologies, the productivity of nations began to improve, and man became more prosperous. The difference between the developed nations of today and the developing nations of today is simply the lack and the presence of ability to create technology and intellectual property rights to, prove, to protect these ideas. So during my second doctorate degree at the Johns Hopkins University, I came up with this conclusion that the future of mankind will not be governed by minerals and hydrocarbons, rather by the ability to create knowledge and commercialize knowledge. I founded the African Institution of Technology, an organization that seeks to help nations, especially in Africa, to develop technology capability so that they can create knowledge and help their citizens. We work with governments, we work with universities, and we work with small and medium-scale enterprises. I mean, we've done so many things. We have, uh, we have organized many workshops, we have organized many seminars, we have helped nations to develop technology roadmaps. And we have also carried many research works on behalf of World Bank and other respected international organizations. But as we continue to do this program, we discover that the challenges in Africa are so huge. And I'm asking you today, to extend your hand of fellowship to us in three major areas, the area of education, the area of research, and the area of knowledge transfer. The area of education, we are looking for books, we are looking for laboratory tools and equipment. We are looking for computer-aided design tools so that two African students can actually practicalize what their teachers are teaching them right in the universities. And we're also looking for professors to help us develop course materials in the emerging areas of technology like nanotechnology, microelectronics, biomedical, food engineering, and others. And in the area of knowledge transfer, there are so many companies we are nurturing, we are assisting small and medium scale enterprises in Africa to transition from dependence on commodities to begin to differentiate on all these commodities. So we are creating some portfolios of companies to do a business plan competition. And we are asking you today to give them opportunity and also inspire and mentor these young managers for the future of our continent. And also we have a research we are carrying on right now. We are looking to understand the technology sector of the Africa's informal economy. You know that for many centuries Africa existed. We never had the opportunity to develop an indigenous way of writing. But we understand one thing, that the future of Africa could look like a city where people could look and see a hopeful, prosperous nation if we begin to build mines of knowledge instead of mines of diamond and gold. And I ask you today to extend your hand of fellowship to me and my colleagues, and let's build a mine of knowledge in Africa and help invent a new future that all nations on earth we believe, we expect, and make a joyful partnership for the good of all man. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much.